Welcome to Vagabond Builds with James and Sandu. And today we're gonna to be doing a comparison video between two cars. To my right, I got a 2025 BMW X5 in the X Drive 40i. And we're comparing it over to its bigger or beastier brother, the 2025 BMW X5 in the M60i. We're gonna be talking about exterior differences, interiors, and specs in this exact video. But before we do, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And if you got something for us to film here's our email below and you can email and we'll talk details later a special shout out and a thanks to roseville bmw here at the roseville auto mall in roseville california for providing us these beautiful cars for this comparison video keep watching stay tuned because we're also going to be talking about price tag guys and we're also going to be dropping those msrp stickers so you guys get an exact idea of what comes on these cars and what prices they're coming in at on the market let's go ahead and dive in let's dive in and talk specs now what do we get on the 2025 BMW X5 with regards to the trim? Now, I do have an X Drive 40i in this exact video, but what do you get right before that? You have the lowest trim in the S Drive 40, which is a rear wheel drive, the X40, which is an all wheel drive, the one that we're doing in this video. Then you have a X Drive 50e, which is a plug in hybrid. Then you get the M60i and then the M Competition. So five total trims, everybody, with two engine options. And that's what we have in this video. So leading us into the talk of specs with regards to the engine. One of the engine options you get in the 2025 BMW X5 is the 3.0 twin turbo 24 valve six cylinder engine paired together with the eight speed sport automatic transmission pushing 375 horsepower with 398 pounds feet of torque zero to 16 about 5.3 seconds if we shoot over here you get the bigger horse in the barn this is the 4.4 liter twin turbo v8 engine option with the eight speed sport automatic transmission yes it is pushing out a whole lot more horsepower coming in at 523 horsepower with 553 pounds feet of torque yes 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 and if you do get the m competition package literally literally more horsepower than this one exactly zero to 16 about 4.2 seconds now let's go ahead and talk some mpg on these exact cars yes of course the numbers will be different be because of the engines starting with the smaller brother the little brother here in the X Drive 40i, you're getting 23 city, 27 highway, and 25 combined with a 21.9 gallon gas tank size. The M60 comes with 17 city, 22 highway, and 19 combined, also all wheel drive with 21.9 gallon gas tank size. So there is quite a difference with regards to the engine options. Now, dimensions are exactly the same at 194 inches in length, 79 inches in width, 70 inches in height with 117.1 inch wheelbase, and a maximum ground clearance of 8.7 inches. Now, this car is coming in at around $100,000 minus a few hundred. This car is coming in at around $73,000, okay? Now, I'm going to show you guys what each price tag gets you with regards to the differences in both vehicles. Now, starting with the little brother, the main difference you're going to see in the front with regards to the non-M and the M, okay? Not so much focusing on the... Um, the power of the car whatnot i just want to show you guys what it looks like to have a sport package look m package to non m package dropping over to the grill area okay big difference here you're going to see the kidney grills completely different here and then the bumper fascia you're getting an m sport fascia to where the cuts here change the cuts in the bumpers the lower grills completely change as well now if we shoot over here to the m60i this is what i mean the differences in kidney look completely different you got more area for that airflow to reach those radiators and then dropping down to the fascia complete different cuts there lower trim or lower grill look completely way more sporty now yes the non-m does look sporty but this just kind of steps it up a notch okay headlight system is completely the same with regards to the full led system the bmw look with that kind of high-tech transformer look and the hoods are completely the same this these colors, if people would like to know, because I know I get a lot of questions in my comment sections below, these are two of 12 colors. To my right, on the lower, the little brother, the uh, 40i, you get the skyscraper, skyscraper gray metallic, and this is the alpine white. Dropping down to the wheel area, a lot of differences here as well. You got matte black plastic wheel well trim, painted wheel well trim. So more luxury kind of feel on that price tag 
wheels, you're getting the Bridgestone Alenza all season tires, and you're running a 275, 45, 20 inch to where you're running a Pirelli P0, which is a very nice high grade tire. And the size on that Pirelli P0 is going to be a 275, 35, 22. So you're getting a two extra inch size rim. And also the colors and designs of the rims, machine surface silver with the gunmetal gray. This is a high gloss black look with the M Sport rim. You're also getting in differences in calibers. You get the M Sport braking system. All right, you get that blue caliber to where this is kind of just a standard stock. Also, the size of the rotors are completely different. Bigger rotors on the M60 to where on the 40i smaller roller suspension system standard on the 40i you're getting the adaptive sport suspension system on the um, m60i along with the sport differential cuts here just different schemes okay same exact trims side mirrors sportier side mirror if you guys take a look at the design right here you'll see the difference okay and this is kind of just a standard side mirror with a two-tone color you got the um, metallic gray Integrated blinker lighting, matte black plastic with 360 panoramic camera, blind spot assist. Same thing on this one. You're just getting a full black gloss uh, side mirror with the Sporty M mirror. Now, I wanted to mention as I continue forward that this does come with the premium package and this gets like four more packages. You get a parking assist, a driving assist package, you get executive, which executive is pretty much premium and some. And then you're also getting the cold comfort package on this as well. So this has more bells and whistles. Again, guys, I'm showing you guys kind of what it looks like non-M to M, okay? Keyless fob entry on both. You do have the engine start key fobs on both as well. Dropping down to the rocker panel area, you get trim here in the matte black plastic with the silver to where this is just a pretty much rocker panel painted one piece trim, okay? Up top roof rails, in high gloss black with regards to the kind of satin metallic look or the flat look. Silver going across, high gloss black going across. Entry here in the rear end, again, differences you're gonna see is the bumper fascias, okay? Also the exhaust themselves. So get a load of what's going on right here, okay? Difference, all right? Matte black plastic, we got that kind of gunmetal gray look with one tip on each side. And look at your diffuser down here to where if we come over here, you're getting that high gloss black. The cuts are completely different. Your parking mark, par parking reflector is up a little bit. You're getting the twin tip on each side and the diffuser design is completely different, all right? They do come with a, um, spare tires, okay? I'll show you that in the M60 as well. Let's go ahead and pop open this tailgate. The tail lights are pretty much the same in the LED tail lights, the camera system and the spoiler with the integrated brake light. Privacy glass with the wiper, same. Popping this open, let's go ahead and pop this open. Now this kind of reminds me of Range Rover. I, I like to mention that um, in the videos, electric dropping tailgate. Maybe you find yourself at a football game with this X5 and you want a tailgate, very cool option to have. Now cargo area is around 33 cubic feet of space with the second row seats up. Drop the second row seats down, you get about a 73 cubic feet of space. 12 volt outlet, some hooks, all right, and then under the mat, we're getting a spare tire, okay? This is your little safety kit right here. You see the little sign, and that's pretty much to it. Now, same exact thing, nothing different with the little brother 40i, dropping that, electric controlled. You're getting spare tire under the mat, and then also the seats themselves drop the same way in the 40, 20, 40, in the same exact cargo area. You could actually lift these tailgates up electrically, which is very nice and convenient. Enough room for your bikes, skis, whatever you want. Maybe you're heading over to the mountain and you have the all wheel drive system, which is nice. My best advice, vagabond advice is get the all wheel drive if you have the pockets for it. Now that we're done showing you guys the main differences and similarities on the exterior and specs, let's go ahead and show you guys the interior. So let's go ahead and start showing you guys the 2025 BMW X5. We are now sitting in the 40i, okay? So the all-wheel drive, the X-Drive 40i. And we're gonna show you guys the main differences right off the bat, where you're gonna see it meets the eye from the X40 over to the M, okay? Now, starting with the door panel, you're gonna have some bells and whistles that you get extra in the M60i 
that you don't. You get the number two here, a little button there to control the uh, second seat or the passenger seat. You're also gonna see some trim scheme changes, okay? This is natural wooden inlays, but on the M60i, you're gonna have the optional carbon fiber trim inlay look. As well as if we drop down the door sill, this one's just a aluminum brush door sill that says BMW. The M60i will have the M door sill plates, as well as the aluminum pedals. The X-Drive 40 does not have the aluminum pedals to where the M60i does. Moving up to the seats, okay? The seats themselves, a lot going on. You're gonna have more plush seats in the M60i. They're still sporty, but they're a little bit more plush in the M60, different stitching design. You're gonna have electric leg extensions, right? The X-Drive 40 comes manual leg extension along with a manual headrest. So the controls are a little bit different down here, okay? You're gonna see some extra buttons on top of these buttons here on the M60i because the M60i gives you electric leg extension and electric control on your headrest. Now the steering wheel does come M Sport in the M60i to a non M Sport steering in the X-Drive 40i, okay? And then we're gonna come over to the um, infotainment screen. On your apps, okay, when you go ahead and click on those little four squares, you're gonna have the, um, I think the Bundesliga is what they call it. Um, if you are in the BMW ID logged in, you get that Bundesliga, hopefully I'm saying it right, app that you have, and a, a lot more um, icon features in this interface system, okay? Also dropping down, you're gonna see the big difference here with the carbon fiber. You're gonna have the glass controls in the M60 that you don't have, and I'm gonna show you guys, they're kind of crystallized. Also this trim piece right here, instead of just X5, you're gonna get M on that as well. And then illuminated plugins, all right? This USB-A will be illuminated. USB-C will be illuminated in here as well, and then in the back as well, but we're gonna show you guys in the back and last but not least, up top, the glass. This is just a natural plain glass to where I'm gonna show you guys the difference with the design on the M60i top glass, okay? Now that we're pretty much done with the difference here, let's go ahead and shoot over to second row, show you differences, and then jump into the M60i. Now to put into perspective for you guys, I'm about six feet, two inches. I just wanna mention this, leg room is completely there on these X5s and head clearance is completely there, so don't worry about that. But what's different from the non-M to the M, and what do we see? The only minor difference is, is heated seats, you're gonna get in these little buttons, and that's because of the cold comfort package. And then dropping down the illuminated plugins for your USB-Cs, but everything else is exactly the same with regards to your armrest, cup holders, Seat stitchings, perforation, exactly the same, but everybody, you got the accessory with the USB-Cs, hardbacks with the pockets. That is the 2025 X5. Now this car is coming in at around $73,000. Let's, let's go ahead right now and show you guys what the M60 at 100 grand is gonna get you. Now let's show you the differences and what you get extra for almost a $30,000 upgrade. Yes, it's the engine, the exterior elements, but let's go ahead and show you guys what that extra almost $30,000 gets you. Now on the door panel, remember I mentioned to you guys the number two, that's for the passenger, the carbon fiber inlays that you're gonna get, the optional, that's like a $300 option upgrade, M60i door sill, along with the sport pedals. See the M sport pedals, you can see the M right there. Along with the pedals are the aluminum pedals. The seating system, okay? Now, remember I told you guys, the stitching is slightly different, looks a bit more plush because it is up top, still perforated look, but electric controlled leg extensions and headrest, and you're gonna get that right here on these buttons, okay? There you go, and then up top, you're gonna get it here as well, okay? It's actually the split seat, look at this. The top half of the seat is moving, okay? Very cool option to have. And the seat itself is ventilated, okay? That's because of the cold, uh, cold comfort package that you don't get in the X-Drive 40, but you're getting in the M60i, the, the ventilated on the front seats, okay? Now, Sport steering wheel, the M, like I mentioned, the stitching is different, the leather looks slightly different, more kind of a softer Napa leather. 
am on the steering of the badge itself and the airbag does look different itself as well. Now, I also mentioned the interface. Let's go ahead and show you guys something. The Bundesliga um, app here as well added. That is the German soccer league. I said European, but it's now the German. Um, the guy behind the camera corrected me and that is when you are signed into the BMW ID to let you know, all right? And more icons and so forth, different uh, look on the ventilation um, with regards to certain settings. Cool, all right? And you're gonna get that extra button for the ventilation seating right there, okay? Now, dropping down, more carbon fiber going around. The uh, cup holders, whatnot, that is all the same. But remember I mentioned to you guys, the glass controls, right? The crystallized look, it's one, two, and three. All right, everything else is pretty much the same. And then the illuminated plugins. I don't know if you guys can see that. All right, but it is illuminated in the front and in the back. The M trim here in the front where it said X5 and the X40. Now it's the M illuminated. And up top, check out this glass. As I mentioned to you guys, the differences in the glass, all right? Very cool. Closing that. Now that we're done showing you guys the main differences in the front, let's go ahead and show you guys second row, which pretty much not much, much different, but let's do it, finish off with this video. Now everybody, the, th the differences back here, remember I mentioned to you the heated seats, that's what you get right there in the little corner on each side. Dropping down the illumination around that 12 volt outlet and the uh, C, USB-C plugins. And then of course the carbon fiber back here, and I wanted to mention also the M Sport door sill plates that you get on the second row as well as the first, okay? So super cool. Now as promised, here's the MSRP sticker first to the X40i. This is the cheaper one, the little brother, the less power all around the, um, it's still sporty, just not as sporty and aggressive as the M60. Now here's the MSRP sticker to the M60 so you guys get a better idea. Pause them, um, um, you know, magnify the screen so you guys can actually look at the listings. Hopefully we were of big help to you guys and you guys found this very useful here at Vagabond Builds with James and Sandu. We appreciate you guys. God bless you.